Well, I got my $40 stove in my uh, shop here, and I'm bolting the legs back on. These uh, are the parts that go on the top, and everything's here and accounted for, except now I know why they sold the stove. Uh, upon closer inspection, one of the little tangs just broke off of that leg. See how this leg has two tangs? This one snapped off somewhere, and uh, it's old and rusty, so it's been off for quite a while. But I think I can uh, do some engineering on this, Yankee engineering, because I'm a Yankee. I drilled a hole through there, and I got some big washers and a long 5 16 bolt. I'm going to try to rig this up where uh, it'll hold tight. Uh, if it doesn't hold tight, I know where there's another stove just like this except slightly larger and the guy wants 50 bucks for it, so uh, I'm not totally out, but I'll see if I can rig this up. I uh, got some fender washers holding this on, great big half inch washers, and uh, I think that'll do. I've tapped on it with a hammer. It's not going anywhere. If you're really, really good, you can braise cast iron. I've seen it done. My dad's done it. But uh, it's one of the things I, one of the many things I haven't mastered. There's a lot of things I can do, but none of them really, really well. Except eat and gain weight. I'm a master at that. Anyway, yeah, I, that'll hold. Uh, I wish I could braise better than I, I can or else I'd uh, make an attempt at brazing this, but uh, I could make it even worse. All right, I'm going to get my stove put back together, tipped up, and uh, I got my shelves down, taken down. I got my tin there to uh, go through the wall. I'm going to cut a about a 16-inch circle out, maybe 18-inch, and then I'm going to put tin over it. Got a six inch hole through that to put my pipe through. And uh, before it's all over, I'll have some cement backer board uh, about four feet up on each wall here behind the stove. And uh, I'll be cooking here, heating up my shop here a couple of days. All right, I got uh, the first section of pipe screwed onto the flange on the stove. I got my holes drilled on either side oh, you can see that for the damper I got the damper right here I'm fixing to put the damper this goes inside and then this rod here goes through that hole and then through this on the inside of the pipe and then I'm gonna bolt my elbow down and another two foot section of pipe and I'm going to push it up against the wall here and get an idea where that pipe will go through. And uh, my, next, my next clip will be uh, me cutting a hole or having cut a hole through that and putting a tin up. Well, we're getting closer. I got my uh, hole cut through the wall. Uh, I got my tin here. And I've cut a perfectly symmetrical six inch hole. Right now I'm taking my Dremel and uh, knocking off the slag here because uh, I'm pretty sure people are going to be stopping out in the street to come up and admire this perfectly symmetrical six inch hole. I don't want them to cut their fingers. I don't have a uh, circle cutter. Uh, I don't have anything that's exactly six inches in round. And uh, I needed to cut that six inch circle out of that piece of tin. So I asked myself, Brad, what would Chuck Norris do? And it came to me in a dream. I made this out of wire. And here's what you do.
That's what Chuck Norris would do. All right, there it is. <clears throat> I got uh, two more sections, an elbow, two more sections, and a rain cap to put on. And Well, I was going to say I can make fire, but I still got to get my uh, cement backer board in there between the stove and the wall. But uh, this afternoon, I'll be making fire. There we go. I have fire. There's my homemade bracket there to hold the pipe straight. Alrighty. Another project done. I finally have. Man, it is so nice to have some heat in this shop. After 15 years, I finally got some heat. It's one of the things I wanted to do for 15 years. I think I'm going to take a nap right here in front of the fire. Nighty night.